So I'm here today with James Wood, who's senior developer here at Matrix Group. And James, in a couple weeks, you're running the Boston Marathon. Yes. And this is your 15th, 16th it's, marathon? It's about my, something like that, yeah. Something like that. I'm losing track. So what's the appeal with the marathon? Um, I, it's, it's, the, it's the challenge of yourself versus um, the elements, I guess. Um, me, you know, the endurance, the, the thrill of, of being able to run that distance, the, the wonderfulness of, of knowing that all these people who are at the marathon are cheering you, uh, nobody else, just you. Um, and it's just a wonderful feeling. It's, it's an adrenaline rush. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's, it's great. James, what is the training that you go through leading up to something like Boston? Any marathon, what I do, I try and do a 16-week regimen. Um, and within those 16 weeks, um, we would have, i break it up into the weekdays and then the weekend. The weekdays, you would be running um, one speed work day and then... Were you just trying day. to go faster than normal? You, yes, well, you're just training your body to, to, to run faster. Now, whether that be um, doing a tempo run, so within a seven mile run, you um, have a mile to warm up. Five miles of that would be doing tempo work. So you'd run a mile, uh, at, a, at a very quick pace, uh, probably you know 30 to 45 seconds quicker than your marathon pace, and then you do a half a mile jog in between, and then another mile, half mile jog. So this is just just tuning your body up, just just you know trying to get it to go quicker. Um, either side of those runs, I'll be running just an easy um, two minute mile less than marathon pace, approximately a minute and a half, um, just seven five to seven miles, depending on where you are on the training schedule. And on the weekends, you would do your long run. Now, they call it a long, slow run. Um, and this just means it's slow as in it's slower than your goal pace for the marathon. And you'd start off um, at the beginning of the regime running, say, 10, 12 miles. And then the week after, you'd up that by two miles. And then the third week, so you start 10, then 12, then 14. And the week after that, you'd have an easier week. So your long distance would be back down to 10, 8 or 10 and then you wouldn't do any speed work. Okay? So you, you, you let your body you know, recover a bit um, in between. But you don't work. run 26 miles. No, no, never. Which I the, find fascinating. The longest distance one would run is, well, at least my level. I mean, <laughs> the professionals are a different league to me. But 20 miles is, is the longest I ran um, during this um, phase of my training for Boston. And, and are you running every day? Not every day. I run five days a week. Because um, you do need to six. rest. You do need, absolutely need to rest. Your body needs to definitely recover, which is one of the, the easier runs, the recovery runs, um, when you're running slower. But um, you're still putting the mileage in. James, what are you eating while you're training, and what do you eat the night before? Because there are all these myths about what you should eat in carbo <laughs> loading are, and all and that. They're changing all the time. I, I just eat a varied diet, a balanced, varied diet. Nothing. I still have my burger once a week perhaps not once a week, but I still, we have a splurge night. You have to have a splurge night. Um, but I mean, the night before uh, a long run, I will definitely try to um, have a high carb meal. Does I, do I need to do that? I don't know. I'm comfortable with it. Everybody has their own way and you just got to find and out. And what are you eating the morning of? The morning of? Oh, of a marathon itself? Yes. I will eat a bagel and banana. That's okay. about all I can stomach <laughs> because I'm just too nervous before the marathon. James, what's your personal record? Um, three hours, six minutes at Boston wow. in 2009. And what are you trying to do this time? I don't know. I've got a, I've got a very hectic, um, you know, two weeks. I'm running Boston and I'm being a pacer for the Nike Women's Half Marathon uh, the next week. And then the week after that, I'm running the Flying Pig in um, Cincinnati. So I've got to take it a little easy this time in Boston. This year is all about memory of, of the, the, the people who lost their lives last year. That's what it's about. Awesome. Well, James, good luck. Thank you. And Very thank much. you. Thanks. Thanks for watching the Matrix Minute. Don't forget to connect with us on our blog and social media. For more information, go to matrixgroup.net.